semi-finals. Let's call on our representative. Hello, sir. From our official tabulator, Reyes Takandong and Company Chairman Roman Felipe Reyes. Hello, sir. Thank you very much for the envelope. Are you ready, ladies and gentlemen? Okay, we have the Miss World Philippines 2018 Top 16, and here are the remaining 10 candidates in no particular order. We have candidate number nine, Ariane Kalingo. Candidate number nine, part of the top 16 now. Just a casual interview. What is the first thing you will do if you win the Miss World Philippines title tonight? I would eat, of course. You know, my parents instilled in me this attitude of gratitude. And so the first thing I would do is treat my family, my friends, and my supporters for a late dinner. And we would probably eat pizza because that's my favorite food. And I want to convey that there is no amount of thank yous can, that can convey how grateful I am for your support. Thank you. There you go. Pizza. Pizza for dinner tonight. Thank you very much and congratulations. Okay, I'm craving for pizza right now. I haven't had dinner yet. All right, our next candidate is candidate number 32, Kyla Sanchez. All right, here we go. What is the most challenging aspect of the competition for you? Well, I believe that the most challenging aspect of this competition is that the fact that I am the youngest candidate, a lot of people discriminate me and doesn't believe on my capabilities because I am still 16 years old. And I wasn't able to handle it at first, but right now, standing here in front of you all is something that I should be proud of as a 16-year-old girl. Thank you. Thank you very much. Sweet 16. All right. Next, we have candidate number 10, Paulina Labayo. Congratulations, candidate number 10. What do you think is the best thing about being Miss World Philippines? I think the best thing about being Miss World Philippines is getting the chance to represent the country. You know, our country really has a lot of things to be proud of. Our culture and even our, the mere fact that we're very family-oriented, I think it's one of the best things that we can share through the world. And that is what I'm really proud of and looking forward that I can represent someday. There you go. Thank you very much, candidate number 10. All right, next we have... Candidate number 34, Danielle Mago. Congratulations. What is your favorite moment during the entire competition? I must say that my favorite moment during the competition is my time with my sisters. We are all bonded together for the past 52 days and we, we didn't build just a competition. We made a family with, to, through Miss World Philippines and its organization. Thank you. There you go. She has sisters now. She built a family. Thank you very much. All right. Next we have candidate number 21, Analita Viscara. Hi, candidate number 21. What will you miss the most about the entire competition? Probably the one thing that I will miss the most is spending the time with these 39 other lovely candidates. These are the girls with amazing personalities and spending each and every moment with them is one of the things that I will surely treasure during my stay and during this competition. Thank you. Thank you. 
She will miss her sisters. Thank you very much, candidate number 21. Next, we have candidate number 14, Monique Kuyugan Tuzon. So what is the first thing you will do if you win the Miss World Philippine title tonight? What's the very first thing you'll do? The first thing I would do is to eat Jollibee. I've been on a strict diet this whole time. So I would take my family and all my friends to Jollibee and I will treat all of you all to Chicken Joy. Thank you. Thank you very much. There you go. Thank you. I love it. Jolly be talaga. All right. Our next candidate is candidate number 31, Cleopatra Jones. Hello, candidate number 31. For you, what is the most challenging aspect of the competition? Well, for me, the most challenging aspect would actually be public speaking because it was actually one of my biggest fears. But being here today in front of you all, I am overcoming my fears and I am being very confident doing so. So thank you. There you go. Overcoming one of uh, the most challenging aspects of the competition. Thank you very much. All right, next we have candidate number... 23, Marianne Marquez. Hello, candidate number 23. What do you think is the best thing about being Miss World Philippines? I think the best thing is to be able to reach a lot of people and to give back to the community that has given them so much. Thank you. Short and simple, thank you very much. All right, our next candidate is candidate number 39, Chanel Morales. Hello, Chanel. What is your favorite moment so far? Hello, everyone. Good evening. My favorite moment so far in this competition is actually our beach beauty competition in Palawan. I dedicated a video for all the 40 girls tonight because I want them to be themselves today because tonight is our night to shine and be ourselves because I appreciate this 40 girls. We are all individuals that suffered all, all hardships. We, are, we prioritized other things. We gave up all other things just for this competition because we know that we are here for a purpose and that is not for ourselves but to serve others. Thank you. Well said. Thank you very much, Chanel. And last but certainly not the least, we have candidate number... 11, Pearl Hong. We have a lot of fans over here. Congratulations. What will you miss most about the competition? I miss most about the competition is our early call time that we get to wake up early and have that discipline, and of course, our lovely organizers and these lovely ladies behind me. Thank you. Thank you and congratulations. All right, once again, your Miss World Philippines 2018 Top 16. Ladies and gentlemen, show your support for your choice candidate by posting your thoughts online using hashtag MWP2018. Their journey continues to become the newly crowned queens when we come back. <laughs>